Hey everybody, my name is Joy, and if you don't know by now, I make content about nursing, living here in Houston, and how to achieve your goals. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and push that subscribe button, and let's get into the content. Okay, y'all, I know it's been a while. I haven't been making videos because I've been tired. I have been working a lot of shifts. My orientation has been intense and I have not really had the free time. On top of my new relationship and dealing with my teenage daughter, YouTube has been put on the back burner. But I'm back and I'm giving you my four month update. So basically what has been going on is I've had my 90 day eval. It went well and we decided that it was time for me to take care of smaller babies. So in order for me to take care of smaller babies, I moved to a bigger level three hospital that um, has more patients. So the home hospital that I will be actually working at when I finish is 12 to 15 babies. This hospital where I'm going to be working now, they can have 50 to 60 babies. So it's it's a bigger level three and I'm getting smaller babies, which is more acuity. So sicker babies. Um, I, at first, I was a little worried about moving to another hospital because not only did I have to learn their charting system, I had to learn the nurses, I had to learn the doctors, and I had to learn the nurse practitioners. So on top of all of that, you're still learning how to take care of a different patient population. It's a lot. But it's okay. I've been okay. Um, I actually enjoy this hospital a lot. It's very different from where I will be working. So I chose my hospital based off the fact that I would have autonomy and I would be working 24 hour shifts and I had a smaller group of patients that I would be responsible for. Here at this hospital, they have two nurse practitioners. So you may have 50 babies, but it's broken up so you're not taking all the babies by yourself um there's two nurse practitioners one is working 24 hour shift and the other is working a day shift right now i'm only taking five to six patients because i'm taking the smallest patients so anywhere from like 24 weeks to 31 weeks um so i'm learning how to manage those patients i'm learning how to do vent management because that's something that's important that you have to learn how to do um learning how to do fluid management writing TPNs and writing TPNs is so different here because at my hospital writing TPNs is on paper like you literally have to do the calculations and you have to write it out on paper well here at this hospital I look at my electrolytes what you know what I got back in the morning on my patients and then I'm able to just tweak the numbers in the computer and it kind of calculates it for me so that's pretty nice deliveries are still pretty scary for me i know i talked about this before but i did not come from a hospital where the nurses went to deliveries and so all of this is new to me and with deliveries you can walk into anything like you think you're going to a 31 week delivery baby's gonna come out fine and crying but the baby can come out not crying and blue so everything is different and they will tell you like long as you know nrp you will be fine you will be fine and i understand that but it's still very very scary so deliveries are still something that I'm working on, building my confidence on. Um, and then the skills, you know, intubations are, they're hard. Their intubations are hard. Um, I've done the skills. I've done UVCs, L, uh, LP, a PIC, um, attempt intubations. Um, all the skills that you would need to have as a nurse practitioner, I've been able to do that, which is great. But I just need more practice on that as well. And then just managing vents and taking care of small patients. So kind of how my day goes is this hospital is 30 minutes away from me. So in the morning, I get up around 530 and then I have to be at work at 7. So I get to work at seven and then once I get into work, then we do sign out and they give me my patients, tell me what's been going on with them. And then I create a plan. I'll go look at my patients, assess them and talk to the nurses, see if anything happened overnight, anything they want to share with me, any recommendations that they have for me. And then I'll create a plan for my patients based off labs and what the assessment looked like. What's really nice is that the doctor comes in in the morning and then I'm able to talk about my plan. In. and it's not just me like the other nurse practitioners I have a preceptor and then the other nurse practitioner that's there for the 24 
they also talk about their plan so that makes me happy because it's like okay i'm a new grad but like they still you know they get to talk about their plan too so that's great we talk about our plan in the morning before rounds and then we'll go round rounds start like around 10 15 We'll round on all the patients, talk to the nurses, see if they have recommendations, and then come back and I will put in my orders and write my TPNs. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my day for the for the rest of the day. If there's deliveries, I go to deliveries. And if there's procedures, I do the procedures and I get to go home at 5 p.m., which is nice because at the hospital where I will be working, like I said, it's 24 hour shifts. So I've been doing 12 hour shifts for my training. Here it's 10 hour shifts and I get to go home at 5 p.m. The only thing about it is y'all, I live in Houston and that traffic is serious. So I leave at five, but I really don't get home until like 6.37. So I'm not getting home earlier. That traffic is insane. It can take me like an hour, hour and a half when I leave at five o'clock. I'm learning a lot and I'm building my confidence uh, day by day. Something I could just say is like, make sure that you're reading. I know I said it before, but like you gotta just read all the time, every day. You get tired of it, you're tired, but you still have to just do it because the more you read, the more you know. And then as far as like the nurses, um, when you get pushed back with the nurses, it's just important to hear out their concerns, see what's going on um, in their head and what they're thinking. And if it's not something that's going to hurt the baby or set the baby back, I kind of just try to work with them because I did just leave the bedside. I know what it's like to be a bedside nurse that is concerned about something. So if you have a nurse like I'm just really concerned about the belly, I'm really concerned about the belly, you can go ahead and get the x-ray. Um, you can go ahead. I'm just really concerned about his breathing. I'm really concerned, you know, about the, the vent. You can go ahead and get a gas. Like, it's not that bad to just compromise with the nurses because you have to leave your ego at home. The thing about the nurse practitioner role is that we're the middle person between the nurses, the doctors, the parents. And it's, having an ego will get you nowhere. So everybody's there for the baby everybody wants the baby to be well if it's not something that's going to hurt the baby try to hear your nurse out and you know if you can't give them what they want at least be able to explain why you can't since i wasn't able to just give y'all the three months when the three months was due because of my work schedule and now i'm in my fourth month and i'm going to be switching over to my fifth month here soon in a couple weeks um i'm going to be switching over to 24s so I'm going to be able to give you guys an update about what 24s look like. How hard are they? How scary are they? I'm scared y'all. I am scared to do 24s. I'm not going to lie to you about it, but I'm excited that it's seven 24s a month, which gives me more days off, you know, more time to see my kid and more time to see my man and more time to see Houston. I mean, I moved here because I want to, I want to see Houston. Okay. So yeah, just stay posted, push that subscribe button so you can get an alert when I do post my videos. And if you like content like this, please leave me a comment and let me know. Let me know if it's something that you guys want to see, you want to know about. If you have questions about being a neonatal nurse practitioner, just let me know in the comments and I will make a video about it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Baby girl, you are so pretty, 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 pretty. Baby girl, you